I have abused my spine many times and it's that time once again to pay the fiddler. While my last surgery seemed to be a success, over the last little while it's all been coming back again. The knives in the middle of my upper back, the pains down the arm, the numbness, uh, inability to hold things very well, especially my violin and bow. And as the doctors ran more x-rays and MRIs this time, they discovered that the old surgery had completely failed. The bad news is they have to go in and redo the old surgery, pull the titanium plate and screws off, and replace that disc again uh, because the, the bone never fused properly and is actually completely deteriorated now. Uh, that's the bad news. The good news is the vertebrae below that uh, needs surgery on it and so I'm very optimistic once again and once again it's time for the knife. <laughs> So here we go again. It's stripping time. <laughs> She's got her money. Oh, five dollar bills. We're ready to go. Once again, I'm buck naked under here and ready to go into surgery. Got my wristband. Got my IV in thing when they put me under it's always such a weird feeling as you black out all at once <laughs> Whoa, this is a lot more woozy than the last time waking up. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I'll be, um, back to check on. <sighs> Got anything to say? <laughs> no, Ooh. my my shoulders are kind of achy and tight. And it just seems like a lot longer, a lot more woozy than gotcha. the last surgery. But you have a pretty fancy brace this time. Yeah, I can just feel that it's there. I'm, <laughs> man, I'm just floating still. <laughs> One. All right, so this time I am a lot more groggy for a lot longer time. And quite a bit of ache in the shoulders. And it's kind of like some of the pain before the surgery to where it aches in my back and I want to pull my shoulders back to get rid of the ache or pain. But they said they had to pull my shoulders down quite a ways during the surgery. So that's not unexpected. I have the compression stocking still pumping on each of my legs. Maybe it's wearing off slightly. Yeah, it will. Yay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. they're going to x-ray and make sure that the hardware is all where it should be. Okay, okay. wonderful. That's what you're doing, so. Thank you. You're welcome. I've been up, gone to the restroom, just got back from having x-rays. Uh, this time it just seems like it took me a little longer to actually get coherent and waking up, but so far so good. And the neck brace is a little different to get used to, but not bad. It doesn't hurt or pinch. It's just, I guess, to keep you from turning your head too far.
I'm going to turn this over to you. So just while you're awake, we'll leave you here. We want you to pick it up every hour and take 8 to 10 breaths on it just while you're awake. It's 12 hours after the surgery. I've had a dinner, which was a personal pizza and ice cream and... I'm amazed how good I'm feeling. I haven't had any additional pain pills and just kicked back and feeling mellow and surprised how good everything feels so far. We're just about at 24 hours after the surgery yesterday and other than pulling the drain out in the IV, they say I'm ready to go home. And amazingly enough, I haven't had any pain pills whatsoever and not feeling any pain. My symptoms are all gone, other than I have a very slight tingling in my left arm on and off, but not too bad at all. And mm. they think maybe a little swelling will go down and that'll also go away. Work on good postures, you can't do that, it's not going to be perfect, but yeah, that, that looks better. Um. Hey Kevin, see ya. That's my name you know. Yeah? Oh, this is the guy who's trying to make it. We have to tell me about that. Uh, I'm yours Kevin, say hi to Cheryl. I will, Joe, thank you. It's the second day after the surgery, and everything's fairly good so far. The only remaining symptoms is a slight numbness in my left arm every once in a while. It's intermittent and isn't nearly to the level it was before. I wear the neck brace all the time, except after I get into bed and I'm ready to go to sleep, then I take it off, support my head, and lay down, being very careful not to turn my head side to side or up and down. The worst pain I've had is watching a marathon of The Simpsons, and there were a couple times it caught me off guard and got me laughing pretty hard, and that did hurt a little bit through the shoulders and in the neck, and I think the fact it hurt made me laugh even more, uh, so I probably shouldn't do that anymore. And I have had a little trouble uh, with a cough for, because when I swallow, it doesn't, it feels like it doesn't always seal it off to the lungs properly. And I, I'm just figuring that's from pushing everything to the side of my throat and squishing it out of shape. Not too bad. The amazing part is <laughs> I've been pretty much pain-free other than that couple times I laughed and a little bit over, you know, coughing a little bit. And so, yeah, I've taken one oxycodone since the surgery. Uh, unless something comes up tonight, I probably won't take any more. We'll see. <coughs> but that's kind of the cough I'm talking about, but I can feel it when I just swallow. When I'm drinking water, it's, it's like I can seal my throat off first, and then I don't have any issues, or if I'm eating. But if I'm sitting there and just swallow and don't think about it, that's when I get a little bit into my lungs and then have a little cough. <laughs> it's one week since the surgery. I've taken a couple pain pills, uh, actually two, <laughs> uh, 
it just didn't seem like anything had happened to my throat. And I guess this is not normal, but that's just about what it was like last time. Uh, I did have a couple muscle spasms and I took the anti-muscle spasm medication and <laughs> wow, that kind of threw me for a loop. I'm allowed to take the neck brace off and it comes off that easy and my hair is probably all messed up as long as you're careful. But you better ask your doctor if you ever have this. But it comes off easily, goes back on easily. And there's actually a knob in the front that if you pull it out and turn it, you can tighten it up or loosen it down. And when you go to eat, you usually loosen it up to where you can move your jaw up and down fine. And then just not too tight, just they advise me just, just slightly snug so that when I drop my shoulders, it's relaxed around my jaw. Yesterday, I walked through the valley and up to the violin shop very slowly, and that really went well. Always have to focus on relaxing my shoulders. Uh, they, I was in so much pain for so long that they were just cinched up, but probably the worst thing I've done is at night, with the neck brace off a couple nights ago, I, I have pretty rambunctious <laughs> dreams at night and really flexed my head against the pillow. And so I'm back to wearing the neck brace pretty much 24 seven. I feel like this surgery was a success, but I even feel better about this one than the last one. It's, there's smaller hardware in my throat and it's already easier to swallow than it ever has been since my last surgery. It's been three weeks since the surgery. And after the first week, all of the symptoms have gone away. I have no more numbness or tingling in my left arm and I'm swallowing just fine with no problem coughing. And I visited with the doctor a week ago and he said even though everything looks really good, uh, that I need to continue wearing this neck brace for another nine weeks. And since it is my goal to play the violin at its highest level and share all of the great lessons from the Romantic School of Music, I plan on following his advice. And in the meantime, I will be doing more violin lessons, though they will be the ones that don't require that I play the violin to demonstrate. And there are many wonderful ones like that. Also, maybe finish a few more chapters in my fourth book. And if you haven't already, go to my YouTube channel and you can see and hear the complete Two Trees, the most wonderful endearing legend of music and master violins. So until next time, thanks for watching.